I want to talk about a, a technique that is relatively new in the last year that I've been experimenting with and getting some really good results, which is injectable dutasteride. So dutasteride is like finasteride, except dutasteride, also known as Avidar, which is the oral formulation, is uh, blocks both DHT, uh, sorry, uh, 5-alpha reductase type 1 and 2, which is, gives you almost a complete blockade of uh, dihydrotestosterone, which is the goal in terms of hormonal uh, blockage in terms of advancing into progressive hair loss. Uh, the fear of dutasteride orally is that there's a higher risk of sexual side effects, and I actually there was a study in Korea that looked at about a 650 individuals in a retrospective fashion and found that oral dutasteride actually did not have a higher incidence of sexual side effects than fast, right? It actually trended toward lower, but the p-value was not significant for those that understand uh, statistics. That being said, there are still some men that take finasteride to tasteride that have sexual side effects, that don't want it, um, and this is really an amazing workaround situation. Injectable dutasteride is an injection into the scalp of liquid dutasteride, and what's amazing with it, it's injected every three months, is a few things. One is that there really been no sexual side effect reports, and now of course there's something called nocebo, which is the idea that just the fact that I tell you you could have a side effect, you could have one, but really in the literature they've not shown that injectable dutasteride really has a sexual side effect profile compared to oral. So the systemic absorption uh, at the level of causing a side effect is so negligible that there really isn't uh, a side effect profile. So it's great for men that have side effect profiles with dutasteride or finas oral finasteride or simply don't want to take an oral finasteride, dutasteride daily. It's a way to work around it. It's not my first line. I still prefer men to be on an oral uh, DHT blocking agent like finasteride uh, or uh, finasteride or dutasteride with or without minoxidil orally or topically as a lot of my videos talk about. But uh, injectable dutasteride is a great workaround solution in those that simply can't take it or are afraid to take it or whatever it may be. The benefit of injectable dutasteride as well is that the discomfort level is quite minimal. I don't need to use anesthetic. Of course, if you're very nervous, I can put anesthetic cream on there. But in general, it's very minimal discomfort. To contrast it with PRP injections, which I really no longer do because I find that uh, hair stem, which I encourage you to watch that video, I'm not going to go into it, which is a plant-based equivalent of PRP where I get much better results with no needles, uh, is, is really what I, all I need to do for that. But when in the past, when I used to do PRP, it was quite painful. It was painful for a few reasons. First of all, the PRP had to be injected with larger needles, which is more uncomfortable for the patient. The second thing is an anesthetic block was very painful for the patient. It burned, caused epinephrine, the heart to race, um, and it was just uncomfortable, and patients hated that. With injectable dutasteride, it's not painless. Of course, if you really are nervous of needles, you can use an anesthetic uh, cream, but most patients tolerate quite well with minimal discomfort. Part of the reason is that the product doesn't really burn. It's an incredibly small needle and it's placed very superficially subcutaneously. So these are the, the sort of the new insights in, into injectable dutasteride therapy. As I said, it's done every three months to maintain it. I've only done this for the past year, so I cannot tell you if you stop for you know six months whether you're going to lose everything or not. But right now I'm very pleased with this as an alternative therapy for the indications I've, I've mentioned.